What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a banger for y'all today. Today I'm going to be, first, I'm on TierMaker.com. It's my first time on this uh, site, but everybody uses it when they want to make a, a, like a tier list of anything, really. But today I'm going to be doing a tier list on the best story mode video games. So, um, yeah, so you can see I got each row. I titled them myself, so we got... In first place, we got Banger. So that's the best games. That's the Banger games. All right, all right. Second, you got Fire. The Fire games. Fire is right under Banger. And then you got Great. You know, under Fire is Great, you know. Great games. Under that, you got Trash. You know, because there's a lot of trash out there. You need to recycle. And then you got Never Played It. So um, some of these games, I've never played them. You know, there's a couple. There's like four or five I see, but... Everything else I've played them. So let's go ahead and um, get to it. All right, number one, Tomb Raider. Now this isn't the original Tomb Raider that they have this picture for. This is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I played all three of the new Tomb Raiders. I haven't played any of the old ones. But this one is, is Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's the one in between the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So Rise of the Tomb Raider was awesome. That game was great. The story was awesome. The gameplay is awesome. Man. I think that's got to go in either fire or great. Ah, I'm going to put it in fire. Just know you can get moved. If I put you in fire later, you might get demoted to great, you know? Your spot is not definite. Um, Outlast, I barely, barely played Outlast. Not enough to say I truly played it. I only played like 30 minutes of it. So I'm just going to put it in never played it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Banger. I don't care what you say. That was a banger. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is my favorite Odyssey or my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I know you're like, what? Why is that your favorite Assassin's Creed game? That that wasn't he's not even an assassin in that game. I don't care. That game was fire. And um I know that he wasn't an assassin, he or she. I played as the girl, but you you're not an assassin and you're not killing Templars or Order of the Ancients. You're not killing you're killing the cosmos so you know it's it's whatever you don't even have the hidden blade but that game is fire i love the game i think it was awesome red dead redemption 2 that is my favorite story mode game like right now to date is is red dead redemption 2 that game was incredible i beat that game twice and the game is like 40 hours long and i beat it twice that game is awesome arthur morgan john marston dutch vanderlyn um, Micah Bell, you know, Sadie Adler, um, all of them, Jack, they're all awesome, all them characters, that's just, that's Hosea, you know, it's a lot of characters on that game, and they're all awesome, but the gameplay, you know, isn't, you know, it's just GTA, really, but that story, though, was just, you can't top it, okay, Just Cause, that looks like Just Cause 3, I played Just Cause 4, I never played Just Cause 3, I think that's 3, it may be four, but I'm pretty sure that's three. I never played three. I played four. Um, Battlefield 1. For story mode? Battlefield 1 was really good for the story mode, but it, at the end of the day, it's a Battlefield game, so it's only going to be like two to three hours long on Battlefield. So um, for that, I'm going to put it in... It's not trash, so I guess I'll put it in great, although it's I wouldn't say it's great, but it's great for a Battlefield game. So there you go. Um, Battlefield 5. That's that wasn't trash, so I guess I'll put it in great. Although I wouldn't, you know, say it's great. This is God. I think that's God of War one down there. So I never played God of War one. I played a little bit of God of War three, like two hours of God of War three, and I played the new God of War. And I'm waiting on God of War Ragnarok. So this one I've never played it. Batman Arkham Knight. Man, that game is incredible. I love Batman Arkham Knight. I love all. I, I love Arkham Asylum. I love Arkham City, and I love Arkham Knight, and Arkham Origins. Well, Arkham Origins was, you know, it was the worst one. It was still great though, but it was like, yeah. But Arkham Knight, that is banger status. That one was insane. The story, Joker in it. Then you got Scarecrow. He was so awesome. The gameplay was insane. You get the Batmobile. Oh my goodness, that game was insane. That's banger status. That's a ten out of ten. Well, ten out of ten. I don't know, but it's banger. Alright, Assassin's Creed Origins. 
banger status. By the way, I did not make this um, this list. This was pre-made. Um, I didn't. I never like you know made this list. I just looked up best story mode games, and this one popped up. So I just I'm gonna get this, I'm I'm just do this one, you know. But Assassin's Creed Origins. <sighs> It's very close between Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Assassin's Creed Origins. But Odyssey is number one for me. It doesn't win by that much. Origins is awesome too. But uh, Odyssey is a little bit better. Origins, that was the first Assassin's Creed I ever played was Assassin's Creed Origins. I remember my dad bought it for me for summer. And it took me the en entire summer to beat that game. <laughs> that game was insane. Um, Bayak was awesome in it. And that was a great game. So, banger. And the, the map was the most perfect map for an Assassin's Creed game is Egypt. Man, Egypt was incredible for Assassin's Creed. So that's why it's banger. Because, man, Egypt was perfect for Assassin's Creed. That's like, you can't, you can't do a better map than Egypt. They did, what was it? They did Greece or, or in Odyssey, are they in like, I think they're in Greece or something. Um, but, you know, you got Sparta and you got... Um, Athens or Attica, what, however you pronounce it, and um, Kefalonia. You got all those places. They're all nice, but they don't be Egypt. And the pyramids. You can climb the pyramids. Okay, let me keep it going. Next one, A Plague Tale Innocence. I just recently played this game. Um, it was on sale. It's like a $50 game, but it was on sale for $15, so I had to, had to hop on it. Um, it was great. I don't think it's banger status, but it's fire. It was fire. It wasn't better than Tomb Rise of the Tomb Raider, not even close, but it was great. It's an indie studio. Not many people worked on it, and they killed it. They should be very proud of that game. That game was awesome, and that boss battle at the end. If you played that game, that boss battle was... <sighs> yeah. All right, <laughs> let's go to Days Gone. I played this game a long time ago. I think this was a summer game, too. I played this over the summer. It took me the entire summer to beat this game. This game was so long. I'll put it in great, I guess. It wasn't, it wasn't fire. It, did, it just didn't have that it factor. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't that, uh, it was, it was, it was really good, but it, I don't know. It just didn't have that it factor, but it was good. If you want a good zombie, um, apocalypse game and an RPG, um, play that one. Play Days Gone. All right, FIFA 18, I never played FIFA's. Uh, GTA Liberty City didn't play that. Sekiro, I know, I know y'all are like, what? You didn't play Sekiro? No, I didn't. I didn't play Sekiro. I know it won Game of the Year and everybody loves it, but I, I, I just never played it. All right, Last of Us Part Two. Oh boy, this game was trash. Just for me personally, this game was doo doo. It was a huge letdown for me. I hated what they did to the story, and I, I didn't like because the, the game, the gameplay was exactly the same to Last of Us One. So, um, that was trash to me. I was very disappointed from that game. I hope you weren't. I hope you enjoyed it because it sucks to get one of your favorite games just have the sequel be trash. That sucked. Alright, let's go to, um, GTA 5. Of course, this is banger status. That's one of the best games ever made is GTA. Back in its prime, it was, like, the best game ever. Right now, it's, you know, it's kind of dead. Uh, really, no, it's not dead, but compared to, like, its glory days, it, it's dead. But, um, hey, it's still pulling them numbers. People are still playing it. People will never stop playing that game. That game will always go down as one of the best games ever made. It's GTA V, and you can never take that away from it. It's an incredible game. Even if you hate the state it's in now, like I kind of do, I don't like how the game is right now because they got flying motorcycles and all this stuff, and everybody's so OP, you know, but... And you can't even street fight no more because, like... Because of the oppressors, the Mark II oppressors, they just ruin everything. But it's it was an incredible game, and it is still an incredible game. So, banger status. Uh, Max Payne three, I never played that. Outlast two, never played that. Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. Whew, this game was so hard. I I played this entire game from a YouTube walkthrough. I did not play any of this game by myself. It was all YouTube walkthroughs. That game was so complicated. Go get this key, bring it to this door, open this door, get the thing, bring, bring it here, open the ladder, climb up the attic, go down. <sighs> no. I'm not doing that legit. So YouTube helped me beat that. Well, didn't help me. YouTube beat that game for me. But um, 
but what I did have to play them boss battles, and I played half of it in VR. Yeah, go 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 to our channel page, GameStruck, and go to and look up Resident Evil 7. You will see me and my dad playing this game on VR. That game was no joke. I'll put this at uh it uh, I'm just not a big fan of the Resident Evil series. I know you're like, what? Resident Evil, that's like the best series. That's the best horror series ever. And you're probably right, but I just, I never played it. Because um, because growing up, you know, I was kind of young and my dad didn't really, really let me play Resident Evil. Because, you know, those games is gory like crazy. So, you know, I never really grew up playing those that much, you know. But I still respect the series. And I'm going to put it at great for Resident Evil 7. Uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I have this game on Steam. I tried to play it and I just I didn't I didn't enjoy it. I know that everybody loves the game so much and they think it's incredible. I played it. I didn't really like it. I couldn't connect with it. I just I just didn't I just didn't like it. But I still respect the game. I know everybody loves it, so I respect it and I'm going to put it in great. Just because everybody loves it so much, I can't put it in trash. I just can't. That's like one of considered one of the best games ever. But to me, I just, I didn't, I just, it didn't click with me. But whatever. Um, Uncharted 4. That game was incredible. That's banger status. The multiplayer was awesome. The story was awesome. Everything was incredible about that game. That game was perfect. That's Uncharted 4. They ended the series perfect with that. Although they didn't really have to end the series. They could have kept it going to like 10 games, but whatever. Great, great send-off for Nathan Drake. Last of Us 1, banger status. That's one of my favorite games ever is Last of Us 1. That game is incredible. Stories are the uh, characters are awesome. The story is awesome. Everything's great about that. Watch Dogs. I think this is Watch Dogs 2. That was trash. I played that game. I just did not enjoy it. I heard Watch Dogs Legion was trash. So hey, the Watch Dogs series, hey, they taking some L's, you know. Hey, if you think Watch Dogs Le um Watch Dogs Legion was good, then hey, good for you, you know. That's good for you. I'm glad you liked the game. I'm glad you got to enjoy it. But for me, I play. I didn't play Legions. But I just heard it wasn't very good. Watch Dogs 2, I played it. I just didn't like it. I just didn't like the map, didn't like the graphics, didn't like the um, the way it worked. I didn't like the gameplay. I didn't like all the puzzles. I didn't like the combat. I just didn't like the game. But if you like the game, that's good on you. I'm not throwing any like personal hate. I know I'm saying I didn't like everything about it. But still, I'm not saying... I'm not trying to personally offend anybody playing Watch Dogs. Like, if you like that game, then that's awesome. But this is my list right here. Yeah, this is my list. This looks good. Now that I'm looking at it, this is good. Yeah, the banger games, them, they're missing some. This list was missing some. They need God of War. Where is God of War at? The uh, newest one. Where is that at? Where is the Tomb Raider 2013 version? Where is Uncharted 1, 2, and 3? Um, you know, there's a lot missing here. But um, And Bioshock Infinite. Where is that? You know? It's a lot of games. Burnout Paradise, you know. But hey, I I could name games forever. Let's. They were missing a lot of good games, but um, for this, this is just something light. This is a good um, this is good though. I like this list. Hey, if you want more Tier Maker um um uploads, then uh like like the video and comment if you want more Tier Makers, um because I totally can do it. They got like a millions of Tier Maker lists on here, so I could totally do more. And, um, yeah, I'm out. Hope you like this list. If you, um, got your own list, you know, leave it in the comments. From these games, just sort these games out, put it in the comments. And, um, yeah, I'll see you, uh, later. I'm out.